guys. Me and Colin are in the woods and he said he wants to do a little uh, primitive survival type fort build. So feels really good outside. So I thought we might as well get out and do something. So uh, we're in the woods right now, but we're gonna head down and find our little spot where we're gonna set up, make a little campsite. And then maybe one weekend we'll do a video of us camping out for a couple of days or something. But today we're just gonna kind of make a little primitive fort. We have a machete, some string, and a lighter to start a little fire if we want to. But uh, yeah, that's all we're gonna be working with. And uh, also I have my shotgun, my little 20 gauge, just in case I see a squirrel or something, or a rabbit. But yeah, we're heading down to where we're gonna build the spot. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, we found the perfect little spot. So it's right next to the bayou. So that way we can, you know, fish, water source really dirty but whatever and uh this is high ground i don't know how well y'all can tell but that's a downward slope and we got a downward slope right there so this is high ground it's already kind of cleared out by by some water so what we're thinking is we're going to make a tp right here and we're going to have like an overhanging balcony that goes down to right there where we'll have like where we'd have our fire and our little campsite right next to the water so yeah tp right here with a balcony that overhangs for a little bit of shelter so what we're gonna do right now is go get the main beams for our tp and uh we'll show you what that looks like there's a decent looking it's a decent looking tree pretty straight so uh, i think that'll be one of them so i'm gonna go ahead and cut that down so i got it out the way this is gonna be one of our main beams so uh go ahead and cut that down real quick Dragging it off to the uh, campsite. This looks like another decent tree, so uh, I'm gonna cut it down. All right, tree number two right here. There's tree number two. kind of be like I think right here's a good spot yeah yeah so two more and we should be able to have it standing on its own and then uh we'll just keep it going see how it goes all right guys so uh we have the body of the TP all made so I tied it up at the top, you can barely see, but uh, go ahead and tie it up again. Then I'm gonna show you all the next step. Colin's over there cutting down palm meadows. That's what we're gonna use to uh, put around the outside of it for water and weather resistance and everything. So uh, as you can see, he's got some. But uh, we have some string that we're gonna go around and that's where we're gonna connect the palm meadows to, but uh, I'll show you all that once we get that going. But yeah, we're all just out here enjoying the pretty weather and uh, just doing a little build, having a good little time. Right, so and for the walls, I have a little string here. You can't really see it, but uh, all we're going to do is tie off the string right here. This is real simple. We're trying to keep this simple, you know. We're not trying to do a 10 out of 10 perfect little build. This is just for fun. Don't really care if it lasts long term. None of that's a big deal to me. I'm just out here. So all we're going to do is get this string. And we're pretty much just going to wrap it around the TP, Going from tree to tree. And that's going to make it a little bit more sturdy. But also we're going to, that's what we're going to connect the palmettos to. To create our wall. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so just an example of how uh, we're going to put the wall on. Y'all can't see, but I have the string right there. All I'm gonna do is get the palmetto 
and feed it right onto the string just like that. We're gonna do that all the way around until it comes together with a nice wall. Then it'll be done. All right, guys, we got one little layer on, so uh, starting to come together. Got some more layers to go. Probably gonna have to cut some more palmettos down, but Amma's going crazy. She loves being out in the woods in the water, but yeah, a couple more layers and it should be good to go, hopefully. All right, guys, it's starting to come together. We still got a lot of palmettos to put on it. See, there's still a lot of gaps, but uh, this is kind of showing you the progress. But Colin's collecting some more palmettos, and sun's starting to go down. It's getting kind of cool, so I'm going to make us a little fire. And then we're going to finish putting on palmettos, have us a little fire, just chill out by the little campsite that we're making right down there by the river. So yeah, maybe a squirrel will run by or something, kill us some dinner. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this little fire up. All right. We got a little fire going. Next to our TP that we're about to finish. This thing's getting tough to stay lit, but we're trying. We'll keep on throwing palms until we can get it to go at a steady pace, and we'll keep working on the uh, TP. Got them shady, Colin. And there's the uh, teepee. We could put more palm meadows on it if we were really worried about, like, if we were actually staying here tonight. We'd get a little bit more weatherproof, but we're not too worried about it. Right? Yeah. Yep. Coming down here. Right here we got the opening to get in. We got the back side or front side. Right here by the bayou. Could be a good source of food, water. But uh, yeah, we're thinking about having an awning going from the top of the teepee down to maybe like right here. And this could be more camp space. But yeah, this is what we're rocking with so far. Got a simple little build. Took us a couple hours. Nothing too special. Just a little. Give us something to do. And uh, earlier, I lit this, just this tree to see if it would burn. Not to see if it would burn. I just lit a piece of bark to see if I could use it. Break some bark off for firewood. I'm building the teepee. About an hour later, I looked back and the thing's smoking. And now, the whole dang thing's about caught on fire, so. It's really swampy around here, so we don't have to worry about wildfire or anything, but. I say, get this thing a couple days and it might be, uh, it might be falling down. It's burning pretty good. But I guess we'll see. Yep. Nice, peaceful little something fun get out the house get your mind off things and just relax by the fire ain't that right Colin yep now we need to kill us a squirrel or something all right guys we're gonna end the video sitting in the teepee uh it was fun we had a good time got the fire behind us so uh, now we're just gonna end the video chill out relax enjoy our little creation and uh see you guys next time thanks for watching and uh, if y'all like this type of video, kind of like a primitive survival video, go ahead and let me know and I'll do some more. And thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Tell me later, Colin. He said bye. <laughs>